Hello Crafters, this is Gareth from G's Creation, welcome to today's video. As requested by many of you, I am going to um, paint one of those canvases that I recently uploaded onto Facebook. It was the kind of silhouette um, witch, owl and tree with a kind of sunset, moon rising kind of background. Now I'm going to be using variations of the colours orange, yellows and red with a bit of um, metallic um, gold. I'm going to use one of the little um, paint trays that I stock in my store. And the first thing I'm going to do, you'll also need um, sponge dabbers and a fan brush if you have one. So using this yellow paint, I'm going to put some yellow paint in there in the center and that's going to be the basis of the sunset or sunrise depending on what you prefer I'm then going to put in some of each color in my paint tray now I've got this orange ready mixed paint this red ready ready mixed paint, no pun intended. I have some of the red acrylic, and this is cardamom red. I'm gonna put some of that in the in the um, paint tray. And yeah, I've got any left? Yep, just a little bit. I need to get some more, and the metallic gold. Now I'm using a sponge um, dabber brush per color. So I'm just going to put this to one side and then use a fresh one for the next colour which is the uh, the orangey but I'm going to use the orange overlap on the the yellow that I've just placed there and then gradually increase it so it's just the orange and I'm just going, as you can see, in a, in a round circular direction. Put that to one side. Next dabber, I'm going to use some of the red ready mix paint and mix it with the orange. So I'm just mixing it with the orange. And then again, around the outside. Then using the red and the cardamom red, the acrylic, just using that neat around the edges. I'm gonna put that all the way around and on the frame, the edges of the canvas itself. Now using a larger um, foam dabber, I am now going to go from the outside in a circular motion, whoops, and blend the colors together. I need to incorporate a bit more orange because this is a bit too red. So going back to the orange, I'm going to incorporate some more of the orange into the piece. And then back to the big dabber. And it, the big dabber just in, um, incorporate, just blends it. I think it's... Okay. Now I need more of the yellow because it shook and I... Uh, Got some orange or I didn't want it. Again, going from the outside and working my way out. I'm sure there is, you know, hundreds of tutorials of this particular technique that are done better, but I, I just thought this idea up and and gave it a go, and I really enjoyed the um, the outcome. But I'm sure there are better techniques on. Um, 
on YouTube or online. But this works for me. And I want um, some of that yellow to stay in the center. And using the, um, the metallic gold, I'm just going to put some kind of sh strokes in a couple of places using the big dabber again I'm going to smooth those out and the same thing with the uh, crimson red So let that dry and then we'll come back and we'll do the owl okay that's dry now um, I got these um, canvases in B&M and it was a set of four for $2.99 and they are 8 by 8 so I think that's a really good buy if you can ever get them when they're in stock now using my fan brush I'm going to dip it into the black paint and dab some off and coming from the side, and you have to turn this slightly because I find it better to work at from an angle. And I'm going to just do this sweeping motion, and that becomes the um, the um, tree. So I'm going to quickly dry this and then I will be back okay now we do the um, the owl now using the same brush Now happy to say that this painting I uh, will be giving away because I already have um, an owl painting that I that I've done that I was, that is now on display in my home, so I have no need for a second one. So I'm happy to give this away, and all I want you to do is to leave a comment in the comment section of this video, and I will do a drawing um, about a week after. This video is uploaded and I will use um, random.com and I'll allocate a, a number to each of your your comments and the more comments you leave the more entries you get and then I will ship this to you economy shipping and you and you'll uh, have a piece of my artwork so there we go I will dry this piece and then come back to show you the uh, finished dried um, article. Okay, there we go. So all I want you to do if you would like to um, win this um, painting is to leave a comment in the comment section of this video and like I say you can comment as many times as you like and then you'll get an entry for each comment that you leave. Um, don't do things like great project Gareth and that be three comments just you know leave you know normal comments <laughs> and uh, and then I'll get this shipped to you once uh, I draw a winner thank you very very much for joining me and thank you for asking me to do the tutorial on this um if there are ever anything that I that I upload onto Facebook that I haven't done a tutorial on please just just ask I'm happy to to, to do things for you uh, more than happy so thank you very much for joining me and I will see you again very soon take care now